Hey guys, I want to show you something that was found on Blood of the Dead. And huge shout out to FTJ Gaming. He's the one that found this. He messaged me about it. I'll have his YouTube channel linked down in the description. So after the main Easter egg was discovered, there hasn't been a lot of side Easter eggs on Blood of the Dead. There's been a lot on Voyage and also Nine, but yeah. What's going on with Blood of the Dead? There's a really strong lead with that secret room that I posted the other day, and I don't think anybody's gotten anywhere with that, but this right here is another really strong lead. This is 100% a step to a side Easter egg. If you come over here to the brew machine next to the powerhouse, you don't see anything stand out too much until you look a little bit closer and you look inside of that coin slot right there. It's just to the left of the coin insert. I guess this is like the coin return, I'm not sure but there is clearly some type of coin or metal sitting in that slot. And what makes this 100% a step to some kind of Easter egg is the fact that when you play casual mode, that coin does not show up in that slot on the brew machine. You can see right here, I'm in casual and that thing is completely empty. And for some of you that don't know, if you're in casual mode, you can't do side Easter eggs or the main Easter egg. So all of the items around the map that you normally interact with are not there. And to further confirm that it is an Easter egg step, if you go to classified and go to like normal mode where you can do the Easter eggs, the coin is not there either. So the coin only shows up when you're on Blood of the Dead and when you're in a mode that you can do Easter eggs. I'll go back over to Blood of the Dead and I put some light on it right here in theater mode and I'm gonna show you guys a close up of what this thing actually looks like. If you're in game, it's definitely noticeable. If you're looking for it, if you're just going to buy a perk or something, you're not gonna notice it, but you can see the fine detail on this coin when you look at it with a sniper. And here's what it looks like close up and all blown up. So you can see that it's clearly the head of a dude and he's wearing some kind of wolf headdress. The male seems to have kind of longish type hair with a mustache possibly, but that is definitely a wolf head that's on there. After getting a closer look at this, this made me think, is there a possibility that we're gonna be getting a wolf helmet of some type that will help to protect you against the dog since they're pretty aggressive on this map. Treyarch really loves giving us helmets like the Margwa helmet mask on Shadows of Evil. And then we've got the one that is on Horizon, that's the Panzer claw helmet. Then they had multiple helmets and masks on Revelations that help protect you based on how the helmets have been in the past and how they protect you against some of the threats on the maps. It makes sense that this could be like a hellhound helmet. I'd love to have something like this in the boss fight to protect you against all the dogs. It's a really small arena and there's a lot of damn dogs in that arena. So that could definitely help. When I look at this coin, it makes me think of American Indians because often they would wear wolf headdresses and it was a part of their culture. And there are some hints towards, you know, Indian culture that was on this island at one time. The tomahawk and the afterlife are certainly clues to all of that. So with these hints, it's possible that we might have to do something with dogs and also the tomahawk or upgraded tomahawk in this area around the brew machine. If you try to Google and find out if there's really coins in real life that exist that have a head with a wolf head on it, you can actually find some information. So far, this is the only thing that you can really find. And it talks about like Greek and Hellenistic world. And it's a draped bust of Amazon wearing a wolf skin headdress on a bronze coin. Although this is similar, I feel like it might be pointing more towards the Native American history that actually existed on this island. Cause you've got the tomahawk and also like the afterlife stuff reflects that. And hopefully if we get enough people trying some stuff out with this coin in front of the brew machine, something will happen. I can't wait to see what it leads to and let me know what you guys think about this and we'll see you next video. Thank you for watching Glitching Queen's video. Oorah!